Love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and i have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift um and uh something you truly need it please give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated and you know so much love light upliftment you know healing whatever you need um is placed there anybody who's having vibrations of nefarious negative or sketchy stuff that you've been trying to do to block or whatever i always let people know i'm having Legally, strongly protected, and always love. So, whatever you're trying to do to try to do something negative towards me is always going to go back towards you 20 times fold. But, anyways, the videos that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas. Uh, not enabling the toxic vibes, which tries to project that you're corrupt or sketchy when you choose the challenge. It's true. Anybody that you call them out on their stuff or you try to you know correct them or try to lead them towards a different path you know they will always try to find some way to try to uh project that you're you're fake you know i've had people say oh she's a fake prophet or you know she's been lying on this or you know having people going as far as you know giving you know uh what was it um making videos about me i've had that you know people show me about it different people taking you know my situation and making it their story you know to get something or uh or having tarot card readings over me just to try to project i'm some kind of lie whatever this and this and that i mean it it went that deep but i never let it stop me i always tell people real recognize real when fake come into the room i don't have nothing to hide you know, I have nothing to lie about. I can lose more online than is by, you know, telling the truth. It is just like that. I'm going to always win like that. But I'm not going to, you know, put myself in a fake situation where I can lose so much more than it is to gain. I, I just try not. I try my best not to be able to do cer certain things like that. I'd rather it would be at that point where I tell people if I feel like I got to lie or it's uncomfortable for me to even speak on i'm just not going to talk about it it's just point blank period you know i've had different situations you've probably been in situations to where you know you've been on your healing journey and you want so many other people like hey you know you need to do this you need to do that you know and certain people are like you know what i've been trying to do that you know you'll have different people they're really trying to be on that path like you know i'm struggling with this and this and that what do you do in certain situations you'll tell the you you can be able to tell the difference or unless it's a situation that you had to learn from there'll be different people that really come to you if they you know you're on a situation like this or you speak on something like that you have a platform to where you're always pushing out positivity you're allowing yourself to be transparent you're, you're telling people hey i have good days as well as you know bad days i have days where you know i'm feeling like F the world but then I'm also saying love one another you know we having those different moments and people there's a lot of people that be thinking oh you know this person is Mr. Goody Two Shoes or she's Mrs. Goody Two Shoes or something like that or you know they're thinking they're better than us and stuff like that there were there's a lot of times negative vibrations people that choose to stay in that low level frequency will always have something bad to say about you and they will have different situations where you know if they don't like you they got to get a gang to start, start liking you know to stop liking you some people are good at mind controlling a lot of people where they can manipulate situations where you'll have enemies they don't even get a chance to get to know you or there'll be some people they will probably hear negative about you so long you know in my situation you know you don't probably heard oh like oh yeah she has this youtube channel and she does this and this and this and that and then people find look and they're gonna start noticing different things about what this person doing like damn I mess up I, I, I should have really been telling them about that now they know what I do you know in these situations like they end up screwing their own stuff up and end up blowing me up you know I'm like hey you know it's, it's always a win-win situation for me it's not gonna stop me you know but I had to learn those different situations where you can never you know we we feel like we're an empath we're supposed to be in a situation we're supposed to be in relationships friendship you know stick around with family that is very toxic for us and we feel like we have to stay in that connection you know to be able to heal people that's not our job 
Now I'll tell people real quick, that is not our job. How we help heal is heal ourselves. Where we can be able to give that seed of truth to that person, but it's up to them to want to plant that. It's up to them to want to go through that seed of darkness to help their self grow. You can't force anybody to do that. You can't do that. You know, it'll be towards that, you know, situation will let universe get in that way. But if it knows it's getting to the situation where it's blocking your blessings or it's holding you back, and a lot of people will stay in that connection because if they know. If you're trying to get towards somewhere and they know that you need to part ways with that, they're going to try to cling to you every way possible. And they're going to do anything they can to try to convince you or try to put you in a situation where you are no longer needed. And it's like, okay, you know, because there's a lot of people in your in your vibration to where it could be karmic. It could be, you know, family where it's saying that chapter is closed already. This connection is closed with you and them. This is that, that time for you to focus on you and heal like they're doing. And there's a lot of people that don't want to do that. So it's just that situation where you have to understand it is what it is. You know, it's going to be an is what it is situation to where there's going to be a lot of times where people are going to put you out as being very corrupt, being very negative, or being this fake person, or you're having a facade that you're really not like that. And it'll be at that point where you can't worry about what other people say about you. It's all about how you choose to feel yourself. I used to be that type of person. I always wanted to. Every time there was a, a lie made about me. I always try to project the truth all the time. And that only showed me. I was worried about what people thought of me. And it was just at that point. Where I had to be. Okay if universe wants me to speak on it. Then I speak on it. The universe doesn't want me to. Hey it is what it is. You know and I had to learn even from me speaking on things like that like i've said in my other videos there have been times that i put myself in a victim mentality didn't realize i was allowing myself to be a victim you know being a victim mentality and i had to be at that point you are not a victim of your circumstances your circumstances happen to make you become a victor you can conquer overcome anything that challenges you in your life no matter how hard it is it may take you a while you know it may take you a while nobody never said it's just gonna be a wham bam thing you ma'am and you're going to be all you know love and light and stuff like that it takes time for that to happen it's a process it can be elongated you know it has to be create patience i'm a taurus you know gemini got you know got all these other stuff attached to me you know in different nodes and houses and stuff like that so that created a point where me i'm stubborn and i want things like yesterday i i don't like patience patience and process was a very bad word for me it was a very cuss word very much of a cuss word to me but i had to be able to understand if you want to be great you want to be better it, it it's not going to happen overnight these are the different things you're going to have to keep working at it and working at it and it takes hard work to be able to be that it takes you know you have to be very strategic about it and you have to be very persistent within yourself but if you know you want better into your life this is something you're going to have to do every day but it'll be at that point where you understand you know you're all coming from a good place but you don't have that time to try to convince everybody and their mama that you're coming from a good place it's going to be at that point where somebody going to really see you and they're going to feel the vibes you're projecting out and it's going to be at that point where, you know, if you, you know, you're on up and up and you know, you're on an you're empath vibration, you can always feel the intentions, but it'll be at times where it depends on what kind of empath you are, because there's always a light empath as well as there's a dark one. And it'll be sometimes if they don't like what you're doing, they're always going to be like, oh, that person is this and this and this and that and not have anything positive or good to be attached to your character or as well as your name. But it'll be that person is just like, wow, they really been through some stuff. And they're being very, you know, they're being very transparent about it. They're being honest about it, you know, because it was a lot of times it would be very uncomfortable for me to talk about things. But if it was just like, you know, there'll be days that I'm just like in a vulnerable mood and universe to say, hey, you're you need to make a video. I'm like, I'm vulnerable right now. I do not want to be projecting on nobody. You need to be able to make a video. We'll let you know when you're being projecting, you, you know, you're projecting your little ickiness on people. But we need you to be like that because there's so many people that's out there like that that needs to be able to have that voice like you do. Or you need to be able to tell people, hey, I can understand your pain that you're going through. I'm going through it too. 
You know, we're all going through different things in our lives where it's not going to be all love and light. You're going to be going through the mud. You know, you're going to be going through different things where they're going to be, you know, that, that, that rug is going to be constantly snatched from up under you. But it's up to you to still get back up. Don't sit up here after being gone for five or six times straight like that. The sixth time you automatically falling down because you expected the rug to be that way. You know, but there'll be different things that's going to come into your life that's really going to challenge you to where people are like, oh, I heard this about you. I heard that about you. I heard this about you. And it's just like, are you going to defend yourself? Are you going to have anything to say? No, not really. But if you want to watch my videos for a while, you can find out for yourself. You know, and that's all. Be, that'll be all I say about it. That'll be about myself. But it'll be different things that comes around where you already know just by how somebody approached me. I already can tell just by how somebody approached me like that. Are you coming at me passive aggressive like you're wanting, you know, you bring in a bone so you want to carry one back? Or you just really like, oh, you know, I'm just trying to see what you're about. You know, I was very, I don't heard about you through the, you know, heard about you through the mainstream or whatever like that. And I just came to see what you're about. Oh, no problem. Even when somebody come at me negative. Oh, no problem. It's like, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that don't like me. But maybe you needed to be able to see that video I had coming out today or yesterday or something that just really, you know, popped in your mind, you know, when you seen that. And there was something that was telling you you had to watch that. Even if you don't like me, if you were able to get the subliminal on that, hey, that's all that was good for me. You would have been able to do that. Don't mean you have to like me. It was just something that you needed to hear today. You know, I had to be at that point where there's going to be people that are just not going to like me. And I had to be okay with that. But there's going to be a lot of people that are going to love me too. There will be different people that are just going to be able to not understand me. And people are going to just get me. You know, and it's going to be like that. I'm going to be some people's cup of tea. I'm not going to be somebody's flavor. I have to be able to understand that too. And I had to be able to be like that. It's just like with me being on here on YouTube, I had to be able to create a tough skin. Because you're going to get it from all over the place. You know, especially with my situation, like I've said before in different videos. With me being able to express what brought me here, it, it brought me a lot of death threats. I, you know, I had to deal with a lot of stuff on top of the grief that I was already going through to have to digest the truth that I was already going through as well. And it took me through a lot of changes. It made me want to give up on YouTube. It made me want to stop what I was doing. But the universe was like, no. You know, you're going to have to deal with different stuff like this. Ain't nothing where it's always going to be, you know, sunshine, rainbows, and love, and namaste, and all that junk. You're going to deal with some really crazy stuff, you know. And these are the different things you're going to go through, but this is making you, you. You know, you're going to be out there in the world and stuff like that. If you want to be able to create something like that, you're going to have to deal with everything that comes your way. But it's up to you on how you want to deal with it. But when you know you're coming out positive, there's always going to be somebody who's going to out there that's going to say that you're corrupt. There's always going to be somebody out there that's saying you live in a whole lie. You are always something about you. They're going to always downgrade something because they don't like the good in you. So they always got to project something there's not even bad about you, but they're going to create some kind of bad anyway. But you have to be able to be expecting of that. When you're going through change like that, a lot of people don't like change. You know, they, they, they want to be just being. And it's okay, but it's just with you, you weren't built like that. You weren't brought here for that. That's not your purpose. Your purpose is for you to stand out. There's a lot of times we don't fit in with a lot of people. As soon as I said that, my dad going to know start itching. So thank you. It, you know, a lot of us are here where we're not meant to fit in because we're here to create something of a new. You know, with us being who we are, we go through the worst of the worst. And I mean, you got you if you're a Hayoka and you are being labeled as a warrior, you don't go through petty stuff, you don't go on through some stuff that many people will yeet the other way. Well, I'm noping it out of there, I'm not dealing with that, that's too much, I can't handle it. You couldn't do that. They're going to force feed that mess to you. <laughs> okay. They're really going to force feed that mess to you. And it had to be something that was going to really. God dog. Okay. I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay. Using my get like that is like something I'm supposed to stay on and talk about. You know, you're going to be on a situation where it's really going to put you through some changes. It's going to really take you through some changes. It'll be that time where you're ready to give up on life. You don't want to live anymore because that pain became too great. Because you had so many different things that went towards you. I've been like that. There would be so many times where that pain get, came so great. It was hard for me to digest that truth called life to me. You know, I've had different people that come in try to take me out. I've had my own self trying to take me out. And neither one wasn't working because God was like, it ain't today. 
You know, stop trying to come up here and be having it speeding up your appointment because it's not today. Your enemies trying to speed up your appointment towards me and it's not today. You have a point out here that's going to be towards this world that you're going to have, that you're going to help other people as those other people are helping you. It's all a teacher and student situation or a student teacher situation. We're all learning off of somebody. There are certain things that we have overcome that other people are struggling with that you're going to be introduced to. There are many questions that you're going to have. And there will be just, that's how we, there'll be certain things that's in our mind. They'll be mind boggling to us. And we'll be keep asking universe, I need that answer. I need that answer. And it'll be somebody we don't realize all of us that within. They always say, everything that you're looking for is within. And it'll be somebody that you'll talk to. Like, we'll always have the anecdote for other people's lives. And when it comes to ours, we get clueless at times. And you know it's like that at times. And there'll be somebody who'll ask you a question. And you'll just flow with it. And you're like, wait a minute. Isn't that what the question is that I asked you? Yep. Thank you. And be walking around like, are you serious? I've known this this whole time. You needed that. But we brought that person. You would be able to answer your own question. You've been there a lot of times where it's like that. Like, Dad, I feel this small. But it's okay. <laughs> There's something I needed to know. But you're going to have different situations. When you know you're stepping up to the plate. And you becoming you better than you ever. You done showed up for yourself harder than you done came up before. You done came up. I mean, you just sit up here. And you, you, you know you're going hard for yourself. There's always going to be some people. Is going to look down at that and create some kind of negative platform for you on saying this is why they're doing that. You know, anytime you are that person, you know, there's a lot of people that are negative or, you know, sociopath, psychopath, narcissist, anybody they want where they don't want to change. They don't want nobody to challenge them. They don't want you to stand up for yourself. They want you to be weak. They want you to be dumbed down. They want you to be watered down. They don't want you to have any kind of friction that's going to go against what they want you to do, or how they want you to speak, how they want you to think, how they want you to see them. Okay. So anytime you're that enabler, oh, you're good. I love to be around you all day because that means you don't challenge me. You take me as I am. And a person like, no, I don't like that. Oh, you ain't going to speak to me like that. Oh, I don't do that. They don't like you. I'm very not like you by narcissists they can't stand the hell out of me that's okay <laughs> i used to be a narcissist too but the only difference since difference between that i can admit that the narcissists i gotta deal with they want to have that fake facade like they're victim to all mentality they got going through and i'll go ahead and allow you to be that me i got i got a different agenda i got something better i need to do with my life and it don't pertain to enabling you i'm gonna challenge you so don't come at me with that because i'm gonna challenge you you want me to sit up here and dumb myself down be weak i'm gonna stand my ground I'm going to project strength all day up in that. So if I got to be that bitch, I got to be this, I got to be that, I'll be that. But I'll be that one you ain't going to run over. I was like, it would be easier, how they say, it would be uh, harder to play with than, um, I forgot what that daggone post was that I put on there. Be that one that's hard to play with than get, to get over than to get over because if you can't get over it's hard to play with you like that i used to be that person that was enabling like that or i'll know somebody wrong but i feel like i'm weak i can't live without that person i had to be able to like hold up you were doing just fine before you met her you were doing just fine before you met him are they breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out if they don't like you they that, that's all they can do is breathe in breathe out it's like are they oxygen okay then you can live just fine without them Okay, it's like you be acting like I don't even want to say that daggone name. I almost slipped up and said that name. I'm like, ugh, I don't even like that dude. I so I'm glad he in prison where he need to be because I was like, I can't breathe without you. You know that R. Kelly mess. I'm like, eh, I don't even want to talk about you. It, it was that one song, but I didn't want to bring that up. But end up bringing it up. But I end up saying what I gotta say anyway. But I'm just saying, you know, you're that person where they feel like if you 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 don't enable them, they if they can't you know gain some kind of notoriety off of you or whatever you know you be seen as a pariah and all these other negative things when you are starting to challenge somebody and that is okay because when you know it's like shoot they can't run game on me because i'm the game changer i'm the whole plot twist and the plot twist deep you know you can't do that with me but the old me would have been able to deal with that knowing good and well you know you were wrong knowing good and well you should have been in the doghouse but i kept letting you come back now i'm at that point where uh-uh this ain't gonna work <laughs> I stopped the exact time I dodged a whole tanning bomb and a couple of bullets messing around with certain people 
you know and I'm glad about that if it means I gotta be by myself for a minute that's okay a lot of times when you're on that journey of growing you will be on us you will be on a journey where it'll make you feel like you're by yourself and it's at that situation you're never by yourself you got a whole lot of ancestors you got guides you got spirit guides you got a lot of people that love you they may be having to love you from a distance because they may be working on themselves too you know but it'll be at that point you have to understand when you know you are you you know you you're a plot twist the game changer a whole whole flex or a whole mood of a flip twist or a twist flip whatever there's always going to be something negative they're going to say about you because the fact is you challenge them anytime you speak truth there are some kind of people that want to be okay with living that lie and they will create a whole lie about you because they know that's going to con contradict the truth that you got saying about them because <laughs> they know you speaking the truth they live that lie so they want to create uh, you know and you know Leroy and them girl he ain't about nothing he ain't about this this and that knowing I was mad because I couldn't take advantage of Leroy anymore I couldn't do this with Leroy anymore he challenged me and that mess got on my last nerve I like being who I am I like who I am that means I don't want to change so I don't want to change so if you want to sit here and talk about this I'm going to go ahead and make all these rumors about him and that's what he's going to do if I can't control him he'll do that I had to work with a job with a big female like that all because you couldn't manipulate me no more you just stole stuff from me did the most trifling thing you could do to me and then when I couldn't when I didn't allow you to hang with me no more you couldn't use me as your excuse do all your whole stuff okay next thing you know I became the crazy bitch at work I became this and this and that and I said you still got to pay me right you still gonna pay me right okay now I don't care about who she said what she say because I can be by myself I got my phone I got my cleaners I got my this I got my that I would be okay and stay clean out the office and deal with her. That mess got on her nerve. Eventually that got me fired. And then a couple of months later I found out she got fired for the same thing. Except hers was a lot worse. Because I actually told the truth. And she got caught doing something she wasn't supposed to be. But you know karma was a win-win situation. But you're always going to go through different stuff like that. You know when you're going through the good. And that bad constantly challenge you. Like I've had different times where I've had people still. You know uh, take money out of my check. When they were supposed to pay me. I mean a lot of money and it would be just at that point people like rosin you gonna come to work no because then if i come to that job i'm gonna flip that whole building over and then i'm going to jail i ain't got enough daggone bail money to be doing that next thing you know somebody call me hey you remember that boss that did, did, did this to you they caught got caught stealing or you remember that one that wanted you to uh force these names oh they got caught stealing or this one they went to jail every day on time somebody has done something to you to where you know you want to clap back and do karma and god telling you to stop we got this and they're letting you know you stay on your path of goodness no matter what these folks are doing to try to make you contradict you of being all these things that they know good and well you're not allow God to deal with that you keep focusing on the good that you're projecting out into the world because anything that creates challenge creates controversy allow it to be controversy and be okay <laughs> so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all I leave all my contact and you know information in the description box below under my video it's all about uh networking spiritual networking just to be able to connect to find deeper you know understanding your path to purpose on why certain things is taking place into your life why it had to go this way why it unfolded you know if universe is allowing me to have the key essential to be able to give to you towards that way i love to be able to help you out whatever we speak on is highly confidential so i'll help where i can you know, um, I also leave on here my podcast as well, a different post that I put on here, whether it's encouraging or it's empowering or it's just something to make you laugh. You know, with a Hayoka, we always have a lot, a little hee hee and a heavy ha ha. So I like to be able to do that as well. You know, if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well up under there too you know any vibrations you're needing to continue on your path of greatness to be able to keep you being consistent and persistent i'll send that towards your way whether it's focused persistent consistent devoted dedicated anything like that i'm sending towards you a million times fold because whatever you're trying to work on you earn that a million times fold so you keep going being consistent because when people can sniff out your potential as well as seeing your light they will do anything they can to try to convince you like uh otherwise so you keep on going because when they do that the devil sent them over here to make you feel like your dreams aren't big and they try to breathe fear all up into your stuff that you know you earn you keep going okay 
stay woke don't sleep on yourself you stay woke and you keep being persistent and consistent don't worry about that because the devil see that you got what it takes to create change in the world is truly needed so i hope you enjoyed your turkey day with your family and friends and you had a good meal you know you're not getting a couple pounds it's okay that's happy wait for the holidays you'll be able to work it out throughout the week so i hope you enjoyed yourself you know um you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words wide frequency you never know those things could really be helping other people take a long way and just for you doing that for a positive intention and motives hey it's going to take you even further i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do and much love namaste i say shalom much love to you peace god bless later